Hey guys, what's going on here? This is Shadow, and today I'm going to be doing a testing and combo video for my Raid Raptor deck. Now, I'm really excited about showing you this because Raid Raptors are really fun to play, and they're just an awesome deck, an awesome archetype. They remind me a lot of Black Wings because they're really fast, being able to, you know, special summon a bunch of Winged Beasts of the field, and being able to set up for your Exceed plays. Now, I'm going to do a different format on these videos. Um, from, the, from now on, I'm going to start limiting them to about 15 minutes long, give or take. And the idea for that is to have the first hand be if you were going first, and then the second test hand is going to be for when I'm going second. So to kind of give you a difference of like what it's like to go first and second, a variety, if you will, so you can fully understand the, the deck better and actually see this uh, consistency and the synergy of the deck and just overall, just to be able to actually show you. And just before we get started... If there's certain things in here you don't want um, and that you, you know, say, oh, I want to take that out or, you know, maybe put this in or whatever, you totally can. If you have any comments, post them in the comment section below. I always love reading them and stuff about it. And just to keep in mind, this deck, if there's something you don't want to agree with, you can totally, it's totally up to you, whatever you want to do with it. Um, or if there's cards like that are like Zeus, that's like $80, $85 and you're like, I really can't afford that right now. Oh, look, dude, I totally understand those cards are really expensive, and I personally am a cheap budget player. Um, I don't have hundreds of dollars to be able to blow on one card or a play set, so I kind of buy what I'm able to afford and put a deck together with it the best up to my ability. And this is still a competitive deck, don't get me wrong, but it's going to be a little bit, you know, obviously cheaper than a deck that has like Zeus or three Ash Blossoms or whatever. So just to keep that in mind, I don't want you thinking that... Um, you are entitled to your own opinion on everything in here, and if you just, this is just meant to be fun, it's like all these videos going forward, is just to show you, you know, how to play with the deck, and just, you know, how to really have a good time. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Before we do, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this video, and please click that notification bell, so you guys are notified of all my deck profiles, testing and combo videos, and unboxings and like i said post a comment I always love reading and i always try to respond back to it so without any further ado let's get straight on into it all right so this is going to be my first test yeah. hand this is when you're going first and not too too bad booster strix is in here solely because i do not have tribute Lanus. i cannot afford that so as soon as that thing goes down in price with ghost of the past i will definitely be swapping that out with this uh, from this, but keep in mind, you know, you don't have to even use this in the deck. I use it because it's a tra hand trap, and I actually do like it. So first, we're going to start off by normal summoning your Vanishing Lanius. Vanishing Lanius, when it is normal special summon, you can special summon a level 4 or lower Raid Raptor from your hand. So we're going to go ahead and just special summon Strange, Strange Lanius, and then activate Strange Lanius' effect from my hand, and special summon one. All right, so now we have these three guys going. So we're gonna take this and take this, and we're going to link for your Raid Raptor Wise Strix. Raid Raptor Strix effect will activate. You will search your deck for a level four. And I'm going to search my deck for Zephros. Then with that, Zephros and Strangolanius, I'm going to exceed for your four strikes. Now remember, this is going to be your first if you were going first. So I'm going to show you a board to set up that has negates in it. So we're going to remove Zephros from the monster, and then we're going to search our deck for a Raid Raptor and add it to our hand. So now that we've already used um, Raider's Wing, we can special summon that the following turn. So I'm going, or this turn, so I'm going to play Singing Lanius. Singing Lanius will go to the hand. And then from there, this is really awesome, you just detach um, Strange Lanius, or Str uh, Strangle Lanius, to special summon Raider's Wing. And Raider's Wing is going to be really important later because... A monster that is using it as a material cannot be targeted for card effects, which makes it a really, really, really good card overall to have. And then I'm going to special summon Singing Lanius because I do have a Raid Raptor monster. Now with that, Raid Raptor for Strix's, Wise Strix's effect is going to activate, which will allow you to set a spell and trap. And I'm going to go ahead and set that right now. 
So we're gonna pull for this video. Um, we're gonna get uh, Phantom Knights rank up Magic mm. Force. Mm. All right. So then we're gonna take Y Strix and Force Strix, and we're gonna link them together for your Rusty Bardiche. Mm. Rusty Bardiche's effect will activate, and by dumping a Phantom Knights monster into the graveyard. You can search your deck for a spell and trap and add it, a Phantom Knight spell or trap. So we're going to add, um, for this, we're going to add a, let's see. Let's see what I want to do with this one. Because we're going to actually go ahead and add, then for this, a, let's see. Phantom Knight's Negate. We're going to have Phantom Knight's Claw. And actually, to be honest, uh, we're going to swap this out. I'm going to swap this out for a Soul, soul Shape Force, since we are playing first. And you will be able to get a Rank Up Magic Force uh, the, in the same turn in a little bit. So now you're going to remove this from play. Which will then allow you to search your deck for a second Phantom Knights, and we're going to grab Silent Boots. Silent Boots, we're going to go ahead and special summon it. And remember, when this gets destroyed, you can search your deck again for a um, Phantom Knights rank up card, and I'm going to definitely be doing that. So now, this is going to be the field so far. Then you're going to take this, and you're going to take Lanius, and you're going to link them together. Or not link them, you're going to exceed for... Let's see what I got for you. Okay, we're going to exceed for Dark Rebellion, XYZ Dragon. Okay, and then we're going to activate its effect. Since it's being pointed, an exceed monster was summoned to that side. We're going to destroy this. This can be removed from the field to special summon... Or not special summon. Add a rank up from our deck to our hand, and we're gonna add the magic force Phantom Knights. All right, so now we're gonna activate Soul Shape Force. Soul Shape Force is going to make us pay half our life. We're gonna bring out Force Strix. Force Strix is then we're gonna from our extra deck. We're going to be able to summon Cyber Dragon Infinity. And then, we're going to be able to play Rank Up Force. Rank Up Force, we're going to move from play 1. Raid Raptor Monster. 2, Special Summon. Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. Now, okay, so now, this would be, if you were going first, you have a Negate. One negate. This has three on it, and then you have four. So this is a five negate first turn. So not bad. Um, that's why I really wanted to show you. There's a lot. This is what makes this deck really, really good. Is you can essentially set up five, six negates on the field on your first turn, and your opponent's gonna have a really hard time getting past that. All right, guys. That is for the first turn. So now I'm gonna shuffle the deck, and I'm gonna show you if you were going second. And I hope you guys are having a lot of fun. Um, I love doing these videos. And I actually have some really other plans for my um, channel. The next where I'm going to be working on is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series. We're going to be going to Fronic Guardian. And there's a lot of really cool content coming along with that. So definitely stay tuned. Deck is shuffled. Five. And we're going to try the best we can with this. All right, so now first, first and foremost, go ahead and put your Foolish Burial, which will then dump Mimicry Lanius to the graveyard. 
And Mimicry is a key card in this deck because when Mimicry goes to the graveyard that same turn, you can add a Raid Raptor monster from your deck to your hand with a different name. And that's very important. So now, you're going to play Vanishing Lanius, activate Vanishing Lanius' effect. You're going to special summon Booster Strix. You're going to play Raid Raptor's Nest. Don't forget to actually play that first, guys. I cannot stress that enough. Play that first. And then you're going to special summon Strangle Lanius. So this will then allow you to get a Raid Raptor monster and add it to your hand um, with a different name. So you're going to add a Raid Raptor monster from your deck to your hand. So we're going to go ahead and add a Raider's Wing. So that way you've got that. Okay, so now we're going to take this and take this, and we're going to link them together for your Wise Strix. Wise Strix's effect will activate, and this will give you, you can go ahead and grab just Zephyrus the Elite. Zephyrus the Elite is a really good extender in this deck because since it is a Winged Beast, you can also use this to bounce cards back, which is what I'm going to be doing for this, because you can only activate it once per turn. And then you're going to take these two, and you're going to exceed four, your four Strix. Four Strix's effect will activate. Go ahead and remove the Zephyrus, the Elite, and then activate the effect after that to add a level four to your, from your deck to your hand. So we're going to add Booster Strix from our deck to our hand. Okay. And then we're going to activate Zephyrus the Elite's effect. We're going to bounce it back. And we're going to special summon it. Then we're going to put this back again. And then, then you have an XIZ, an Exceed monster. You can special summon Raider's Wing. Alright, so now with that, four Strix, the effect will activate. And it'll allow you to grab a rank up. So go ahead and grab that rank up. Um... Magic Force. Make sure you detach a material from that. All right. So now this is going to be set. And then you're going to take this and this, and you're going to link them together for. Rusty Bard each. You guys know Rusty Bard each's effect. We're going to dump Phantom Knight Silent Boots to the graveyard to add a card from our deck to our hand. So we're going to add Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic Launch. We're going to set that. And that will allow us to add Silent Booties to our hand. So we're going to add that to our hand. Special Summon Silent Boots. Actually, I'll go ahead and replace that. My bad. We're going to set that for that. Then we're going to take this and this. And we're going to link them together over here. For Raider's Knight, activate Phantom Knight's effect, which will then allow you to remove that from play, and that will give you an additional card to add to your hand. So the next turn, we're going to add Phantom Knight's rank up for the next turn that you would be having. Alright, so now we're going to play Magic Force. And you can either A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you can either remove from play your 6 monsters to Special Summon Ultimate Falcon, activate Ultimate Falcon's effect. Or, if you want to do that, you can keep this, 
And then you can special summon Arc Rebellion XYZ Dragon. And you can activate Arc, uh, Arc Rebellion's effect to negate all other monsters' effects on the field. So, that's going to be it. You also will have a negate. And you can also have another gate um, over here if you would like. This is also for Shade Brigading. Shade Brigading you can use for um, getting a level 4. Which essentially, I didn't show it in this video. But essentially you can get a Arc Rebellion. You can get the um, Ultimate Falcon on the field. And you can also get a Dark Requiem with this deck if you actually play your hand right. Um... The only way to do that, though, I would recommend, I do not have another rank up Phantom Knights for us. I would recommend you get another one of those, because those are very important in this deck. Because with those two, using those on the same turn is what you're going to be able to get your powerhouses. Alright, that's going to be it for this testing and combo video. And for once, I actually did not mess it up, because last time I did this, I was, I kept, the camera fell and everything else, and I actually had to restart, so... I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys have any comments, just leave them in the comment section below, and I always love reading them, and just any ideas and stuff that you could have done, or what I could have done, and I'm always open to criticism. Alright, with that, see you guys next time. Later.